Barnet News Digest, 18th of October 3308. We read the news so you don't have to. On the 27th of September, we reviewed the story of the Far God cult. This week, we look at some historical testimonies from Far God cult members at those sites in Itain that may help us understand how the modern cult members may be thinking. One of the major players in the coming Thargoid crisis is the Fargod cult. Driven out of their homes in the Federation, the cult members, newly radicalised by their treatment and by the more assertive approach taken by the first apostle of the true chapter, are in hiding aboard their two megaships, the Testament and the Perdition. We haven't heard much about what the rank-and-file members of the Fargod cult feel about their situation, but four years ago, the Fargod cult went through a strikingly similar persecution, also mainly at the hands of the government and people of the Federation. Thanks to the two cryogenic waiting rooms built on Etain 4A and 4C, which were created to allow the Fargod adherents to wait for the coming of their deity, the Fargod, we have a number of very personal statements from some of those who are to be placed in suspended animation. These voices are surprisingly varied. If you think the Far God cult consists of religious weirdos in black robes who smell of ammonia and who want nothing more than to witness the destruction of humanity at the hands of their deity and then be turned into Thargoids, you would only be partly right. Let's listen to some of these testimonies. Note that these recordings are edited. If you'd like to listen to the whole recordings in the locations they were recorded, you can stop watching now, hop in your ship and head for the Sanctum and the Prophet on the moons Attain 4A and 4C. You might even meet a Thargoid. I greet you in the name of the Thargod. Know that our galaxy lies in the shadow of this omniscient and most holy being. What the ignorant refer to as Thargoids are, in truth, the heralds of the Thargod, preparing us for its manifestation. On that day, humanity will be destroyed. But we, who have heeded the truth, will ascend and be transformed. In the sacred void temple, we willingly entomb ourselves to preserve our souls until the far god comes. I have instructed my fellow adherents to record their last words as they prepare for the crypts, in the hope that others may be inspired to join us. I'm ready. I've been ready for a long time, actually. But the fasting and the trials have left me feeling lighter, purer. I was glad to come here. Most of my chapter is gone. They, they burned our hive chapel to the ground. Everyone I knew died. I don't know where I am. I thought we were going to the Earth Chapel. But instead we've come here. Is it time? Is the Far God coming? They gave me something for the pain. <laughs> injections. Man, I've had a lifetime of injections. First it was fun. Then it was necessary. <laughs> this will be awesome. I'm going to see the Thargoids destroy everyone. Literally everyone. Ever since I was a kid, I've been fascinated by the Thargoids. I used to dream about them coming back. Then one day they were on Galnet, blowing up starports, gunning down ships. Nothing could stop them. They must have heard me praying that they'd come back. This is for my husband, my sister, and my colleagues. I hope this message reaches you. There's something I want you to know. You're going to die, and I can't wait. There's one thing 
I want to make clear, okay? We deserve this. The, the, the whole human race. We brought this on ourselves. We deserve to be destroyed. Y you know, we talk about our achievements, how we've colonized to the stars, but, but the only thing we do is spread ruin. So many worlds tainted with, with pollution or, or terraformed for our selfish needs. The galaxy is a living organism and we're spreading through it like a cancer, destroying everything we touch. I'm scared, really scared. I don't know what I'm doing here. I think I might have made a mistake. On the streets, things were bad, but then the monks found me and helped me. I didn't ask any questions. I guess I wanted to be saved, and they did save me, in a way, but... My name is Nathan Summers, and I'm an agent with the Federal Intelligence Agency IDENT 4989 Kappa Theta. I've been on a deep cover assignment for three weeks, pretending to be part of this cult. I was looking for evidence that they were communicating with the Thargoids or acting as their spies. At this point, I'm pretty sure they're not. But I am sure of one thing. They're insane. They really do believe some kind of alien god is gonna come out of hyperspace and, I don't know, save them or something. I've kept my cover, despite being hauled off to this remote outpost. But I've lost contact with the FIA, and these guys are about to put everyone into suspended animation. Things have progressed. We're now at the stage where we can enter suspended animation. It's a shame in a way, as I wanted to be conscious to witness the Far God's arrival. But our Herald assures me that the automatic system will wake us up as soon as it manifests. <laughs> oh, I'm curious to know what will happen. Will we keep our human bodies? Or will we be given new forms so we can function in the Far God's dimension? I sometimes wondered if the flower ships might once have been human. Maybe people from escape pods taken by the Thargoids. If so, it's a remarkable transformation. No need for crude starships anymore. We'll be able to soar through space ourselves. <sighs> well, no matter what happens, it's thrilling to know that we'll be the ones to experience the next stage of evolution. We're the future of the human race. I wasted many years on false religions and hollow human faith. Now I worship something real, something powerful. The far god calls to me in my dreams. It is coming. I'm not afraid of death, because I know it isn't the end. When the Far God comes, we will experience a glorious rebirth that will elevate us to a higher plane. But for so many of my friends to have suffered at the hands of the ignorant and fearful, well, it sickens me. So much pain. I've had enough of pain. I'm ready for my reward. I'm ready for the peace the far God will bring. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Even if there's nothing afterwards, nothing means no more injections. Couldn't be worse than what I've been through. Anything's better than being me. I don't care about the Far God. I just want to get close to the Thargoids. And these cultists seem like the best bet. This is going to be the biggest massacre in history. An actual galactic apocalypse. And I'll have a front row seat. My cruel smug husband, my selfish sister, my hypocritical co-workers, the people who hurt me, 
belittled me, ruined my life. You're monsters, all of you. But don't worry about me, as if you ever did. I'll be looking down on you from witch space, laughing as you burn, especially you, Arlo. <laughs> you won't be so smug when the far god is eating your soul. The only god worthy of devotion is one that will neutralize the human infection. I, I, I don't care if the far god is literally real, as long as humanity is extinguished. It's time to balance the scales and let nature continue without us. I've been thinking about my dad. I know he was worried about me living rough, but I pushed him away. And now the monks are saying we need to go to sleep. I don't understand what's happening. But they all seem so happy, so I guess it can't be bad. I hope my dad hears this and comes to get me. I want to go home. If anyone receives this message, this is Agent Summers requesting immediate extraction. Get me the hell out of here. Not long after the cryogenic chambers were activated, the Far God seems to have decided he'd had enough of God botherers. He sent his angels, the Thargoids, round to rough them up a bit. The sites were badly damaged by the Thargoids' attacks, and for a long time it was believed that there were no survivors. But in March 3305, there was a good news story. Federal agents sent in to try to rescue Agent Nathan Summers instead found the 17-year-old runaway Kiona O'Connor in a still intact cryopod. The FIA contacted Kiona's father and she was shortly after reunited with her family. She is believed to have been the only survivor. Ironically, after all these people lost their lives, the testimony of Gethin Okonkwo and Professor Ulyanov helped convince the federal authorities that the Thargod cult was not, in fact, a fifth column for the Thargoids, but were harmless, if a little weird. The Federation dropped its investigation of the cult, and for four years, cult members were allowed to live in the Federation unmolested. It was the recent events in HIP 22460 that led to the cult once again being persecuted as a proxy for the Thargoids they worship. There is little doubt that the Thargoid cult will play a significant role in events when the Stargoids, manifestations of the Thargoid deity, arrive in the bubble in just a few more short weeks. And that's this week's Galnet News. Galnet News, we read the news so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs>